Hello, welcome to another episode of In the Lab with Loctite. Today I am armed with liquid nitrogen, forceps, an empty black can. And we're gonna be discussing elastomerics. Why, I don't know. So I'm gonna bring in Chris, who's gonna help me out. Chris? Hey, Phil. How are you, sir? <laughs> good, good. All right. Let's do this. Let's show you some of the benefits that we have with elastomerics over more rigid adhesives like epoxies. Right now, what we have here bonded up top, we have a epoxy. So that's a relatively rigid product. And then we have one of our more, much more flexible um, elastomeric adhesives. So we have a steel panel that's bonding a glass microscope slide to it. So we're going to kind of show what happens when that gets a very fast uh, thermal shock to it. Okay, so we're actually gonna do that? We're gonna do that right now. That's why you okay. brought that in. Yep, there Tell you me. go. All right. Folks, do not try this at home. Okay. Gotta admit, Chris, this is pretty exciting. Oh yeah. yeah. Got that all nice and in there, right? Is there something cracking in there? All right, there. yep, What's something is cracking in there. Oh my. So let's that. take a look at that. As you can see, the epoxy completely separated from the steel plate it was bonded to. We have the shattered glass microscope slide. On the elastomeric side, nothing, no shatter. And that's due to its flexibility. So, I mean, this is an ideal application if you have really extreme temperatures across the board or, or, or Absolutely. fast changing temperatures. Yeah, right? going from 140 degrees Fahrenheit and doing a quick drop down to negative 60 Fahrenheit, you know, that's something that we would want to use an elastomeric adhesive for. Wow, that is pretty awesome. All right, let's move this on off to the side. And let's talk about some other great things about elastomerics. All right, feel free to take your mask off. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Gloves? Gloves can come off, too. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Get this guy out of the Double way. Double protected. OK, so what do we have here? All right, so here we have one of our uh, high-performance structural bonders. It's okay. a methyl methacrylate versus uh, 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 what? a methyl methacrylate. Me methyl <laughs> We, Why do you guys have these sorry, long words? We have an <laughs> MMA. We have a high performance, okay. high strength structural bonder. Okay, so we'll call it MMA. Well, we have an MMA. All right, all right. And then we have our elastomerics okay. that we've been talking about. Great. So what we want to really emphasize here is the repairability of this. Say you're, uh, you, you have a truck that gets into a hailstorm, it gets a little dings on the road, it gets scratches. Sure. There are ways to repair those panels. And we're going to show why you would want to choose an elastomeric over a MMA. So, okay. so this represents a panel that's already mounted somewhere, right? Yep. And we're using an elastomeric product here. Yeah. So okay. Let's take those channel locks. All right. I got my Pop edge. it right on there. All right. I'm going to pull it All apart. Right. And then we're just going to pull apart. So you can see, not a whole ton of strength required. We're getting cohesive failure on it. Cohesive, I've learned that. Cohesive, cohesive yes, failure. Absolutely. Yep, yep. So let's try and do the same thing on that MMA panel. Okay. All right. Come on, big boy. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, it's like tug of war. Uh, <laughs> I won't let go. Uh, <laughs> that's not coming apart. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's how far we got. <laughs> wow. Woo. Didn't even move. So, so it, this gives you the ability to repair it now. Yeah. So what now, so now can... what we can do is take that, put a new panel up, and have that panel be completely ah, repaired. All right. All right. Got it. Yep. Awesome. As opposed to this one, not so much. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at a video of this in action. Cool. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. cool. Awesome. <laughs> That's some pretty good stuff, Chris. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I had a lot of fun today. Alright, great seeing you, Phil. Good seeing you again, too. Wow, that, that was uh, another episode of In the Lab with Loctite. 
for everyone watching. If you have any questions on this topic or any other topics that you would like to see explained on future segments, just call the Henkel Technical Information Line at 1-800-LOCKTITE.